high. So I, I, you know, I was ready, ready, ready. And then my chair, because I like to move it forward, got snagged by the carpet. And if I ever actually move it, it is the end. And we do not want an earthquake. We've had enough of that nonsense going on. How are you? So um, I'm not even going to, literally, I'm not going to move forward. I'm, I'm going to be right here. And I'm going to straight into the conversation I want to have with you. Because I've been putting it off for seven months. Seven. I counted. And I told myself, Caroline, you're not going to talk yourself out of this again. You're going to have this conversation. This is a conversation that goes from the continent of Africa and goes to abroad, as we say on the continent, okay? And abroad is the UK, Europe, uh, the United States, okay? Wherever our family and friends in diaspora are. And for me, and I don't think I'm alone in this, in the last seven months, maybe one year, but I can tell you for a fact, the last seven months, you know, this is from about June 2021 until you know, January. 2022 i have contributed more to fundraisers that require repatriation home than in any other time in my life and i've uh, co contributed more when i say more i mean in real cash it, it has always been more than i've ever given and i guess the question i've been wanting to ask and there are three questions and please pick whichever one you want to answer number one what is the process of repatriation? Can I explain repatriation for those who don't get it? This is when our family, our friend um, passes away abroad and they need to come home for their final journey. When we bring that body home, it's called repatriation. I know the processes on this end because I have been part of helping. So I know we meet that person at JKI Cargo. I know that even part of the cost implication of repatriation is the fact that there is an airline ticket or two that is purchased to be with that person as they come. You know, that person doesn't journey alone. So for me, I, I want to know what is the process on that end? Is it, um, is it tedious? Is it simple? What is it like? Um, what is the cost? Because it seems to be Herculean. What is the cost of repatriation? And it's okay, diaspora, you can, you can quote it in dollars, okay? And then, because you are in abroad, aren't there products for stuff like this? It's just that the way the economies abroad work is that there seems to be a product and insurance or something or something that works for literally every little thing. I mean, there's even renter's insurance, for heaven's sake. I don't think we have that. I think maybe we call it domestic insurance here. But isn't there a product that makes the process of repatriation um, easier? And is and if it is not there, why hasn't anybody thought about it? And I, those those I think are my questions. I'm not even going to try and 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 delabor this because it has been on my mind over and over. It is what is the process of repatriation from abroad to to the continent to Africa to bring a person home um, for their last journey. What is the cost? Because it seems to be massive. And also, is, is there no... Actually, now that I'm asking that, I'm thinking, why would a foreign government have a product that they sell to Asians or Africans in the diaspora for repatriation? I mean, it's not part of their core. So I guess it comes to me, is there anything... You know what I'm saying, okay? And, and because, honestly, I have grappled with this question for a while, you're going to have to answer that question for me. And I think in answering that question, you're going to also ignite a conversation, but also offer solutions that we did not dare venture into because we did not dare ask. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. I know you're going to respond, so thank you. Look after yourself.